So Windows 10 is reaching end of life fairly soon and you've got some decisions to make about what you're gonna do going forward. Now, one of your options is to move over to Linux. And I've been covering that subject in a couple of videos here recently on this channel. But one of the questions you may have about moving over to Linux is can you run games? Can you run PC games that were designed for Windows on Linux? Well, the answer may surprise you. It's actually pretty good support on Linux. So if you wanna find out more, please, let me explain. Now there are various gaming ecosystems today. We've got Steam, we've got the Epic Store and so on. Now in this video, I wanna talk about how you can get your Steam games running on Linux. Now this is all primarily possible because Steam have a device called the Steam Deck. And I also have a review of that here on this channel. And the Steam Deck is a Linux device running Windows games via some software that Steam has created, a compatibility layer, so that games can run that were designed for Windows on Linux. And so actually there's pretty good support for Linux for Steam games. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can install that on Linux and show you a couple of games uh, running. And at the very end, I'm gonna talk about things like Nvidia versus AMD GPUs, and then also ask you a question about things like the uh, Epic Game Store. Okay, let's dive into this. Okay, so here I am on an Ubuntu system, and it's got a um, Nvidia graphics card, and that's all been installed all with drivers because that happens when you install uh, Ubuntu, you can get it to install the Nvidia drivers as well. It's not a particularly fast system, it's got a GTX 1050 Ti but great for our purposes of showing you how to get Steam running here on Ubuntu. Okay, so the first step is to go over to the App Center. This is provided by uh, Ubuntu to give you easy access to all the different things you might want to install. And you just go ahead and look for Steam. There you can see the familiar icon come up and we just go ahead and click on Install. You will need to type in your root password your, to get access to installing just like you would uh, for other things. And that's gonna go ahead and install that. Okay, once that's installed, we can just go ahead and click open. Of course, it's also in the uh, menu. Okay, so it's come up and said that I don't have the 32-bit NVIDIA drivers installed. So it's asked me to do that. So all I'm gonna do is just copy those instructions there. Even if you don't know anything about the terminal, just go ahead, you can safely paste those in there and run that and it will go ahead and sort out that problem for you. Okay, and once that's uh, done, you can uh, it will start to run the Steam, and as it would do even on Windows, it downloads the latest version and gets it right up to date. Okay, and then of course, you then have to log in just like you would on something like Windows. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, scan that QR code and log in. Okay, so here we are inside of Steam. Now, if you were to try to play any games now, what it will try and do is streaming from another PC that you might have where you're also logged into Steam and it's gonna play it on Windows and just stream it across here. We don't wanna do that. So what we wanna do is go to Steam and then Settings. And then we wanna go down here to Compatibility and we wanna enable Steam Play for all other titles. Okay, so that means it's going to be able to play it on Linux. Do you wanna restart that? Well, we'll restart it in a minute. Why? Because there's one more thing I want to change. I wanna to go to remote play here. I just wanna turn it off. That will make sure we're not gonna, it's never gonna try and do anything uh, over streaming. Of course, you can have that on if that's what you wanna do. But really, what I'm really concentrating on is this uh, Steam Play, which is allowing it to uh, run these things, just like it does on the Steam Deck here on Linux. So we'll restart the client now. Okay, so that's restarted. So I'm gonna to go to my library and I'm gonna go down here and find the original version of Doom. That should be a fairly easy test to start on this. It's quite an old game uh, and shouldn't tax the system at all. But I just wanna show you the principles here. We're gonna click on install. And uh, what this is gonna do is it's also going to uh, install all the stuff it needs to uh, play this on Linux, which means it's gonna install uh, the Proton system. So if we look here in the downloads, we can see it's got the Steam Linux runtime version three, it's got some hot fixes, it's got the Steamworks common redistribution and it's downloading Doom itself. So this is just like it would be if you have a Steam Deck, because of course Steam Deck uses Linux, I'm now using Linux. So we'll let that finish and then we'll come back and uh, try and give it a play. Okay, so the installation has finished. So let's click play and see what happens. Ah! 
Okay, so let's move on to another game. I've gone ahead and downloaded Half-Life 2. Go ahead and click on that play button and let's see what happens. And so the menu has come up so we can now just dive straight into the game. And it will load up and here we go, it's going. Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Okay, so there you have it. Now, I did say at the end we'd talk about AMD versus NVIDIA. Now, the system I showed you there was an NVIDIA system, but the Steam Deck itself uses an AMD GPU. That means that if you had to choose between the two from a Steam Deck, Steam compatibility point of view, you're going to get greater compatibility probably with an AMD GPU. And also AMD have traditionally had better open source support for their drivers. In fact, during my testing for this, I did find uh, a game, for example, that didn't run Dishonored. I think it was on my NVIDIA setup. So I moved over to a setup with Linux and an AMD GPU and that worked straight away. Exactly the same procedure that I've shown you and that worked straight away. So if it is something you're thinking about, do note that AMD may be a better solution. The other thing to mention, of course, is this is not a 100% solution. Uh, Steam has a database of games that run well on the Steam Deck, and you're pretty sure if it runs well on the Steam Deck, then you can probably run it on Linux, uh, gaming on Linux on your PC as well. Some games just won't run, and they're covered in that database. Now, also, I wanted to mention things like the Epic Store. Do tell me if you'd like a follow up video to talk about other things you can do to get gaming running on your Linux setup. Okay, that's it. My name is Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you like these kind of videos, then please do stick around by subscribing to the channel. Also, don't forget to check out my Patreon page. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.